Have that strength. Is that all for uh, for today, sir? Thank you very much. More and more often when I'm walking along the street and I go around a corner and almost collide with someone coming the other way and I say, excuse me, the other person sneers at me or totally ignores me but almost never says, oh, excuse me. Is it because people are becoming increasingly rude or am I just becoming increasingly dismissible? Or maybe it's both things. I'm looking less and less like an American, and Americans are becoming ruder and ruder. Thought determines habit. Habit determines character. Character determines fate. Oh, great. I'm fucked. You know, they didn't make a movie about us or anything, but I used to chase Twisters with friends when I first started out. You Until insincere one day, piece of shit. With this disgusting pastel color, day, everything, sunny, like everything degrees, from the humidity, fucking Gap or Target. Oh, fuck you. Fuck all you assholes at KRON. Kyle was born just after Hurricane Hugo. They, they love you in the fucking suburbs, you jackass. And when I'm in bars and restaurants and people's houses, I see more and more men unabashedly wearing their hats indoors when women are present. What is that problem? Don't they know that's bad manners? Jesus, didn't their parents teach them anything except they're the most important single fucking person on the face of the globe? I'm worth it. Ah, why do I get caught up in this kind of conjecture? I know most people would just say I'm a fucking loser jerk off and I'd shut my mouth and get out of Dodge. Yeah. Where would I go though? Can you believe this guy? He gets me ticketed for parking in his driveway. But it's his driveway, right? Well, yeah, but he parks here all the time. Standing on the sidewalk watching cars drive by, I often hear myself saying to myself, look at these fucking turds in their cars. They actually think they are number one. They actually believe what the car advertisements tell them acting like they're actual people instead of the fucking brainless robots they are, or words to that effect. Shit, wrong kind of perv. He thought P-U-R-V-E-S was pronounced perv, as in perv supply company, which he probably thought was short for pervert supply company which company he presumably thought carried handcuffs and blindfolds and whips and dildos and various lubricants and whatever else perverts might require for their activities. In fact, P-U-R-V-E-S is pronounced Purvis, and Purvis supply companies sell perfectly unperverted industrial hardware. What was that? Guy's got a burger. Who the hell am I? How can I justify this superior tone when I don't even have health insurance? 
What gives me the right to comment on how other people live their lives? This is the face of erectile dysfunction. So is this. Big is and not this. the answer. Fact is, one in three men have some form of ED, a medical condition also called impotence that affects men of every age, race, and background. She grew up an only child in suburban Connecticut. As an adolescent, she was routinely tormented by her peers for being a skinny, self-absorbed, graceless moper qualities which later served her well at NYU where she graduated with a double major in women's studies and film theory. Fuck you. Having moved to California eight months ago, now during her frequent vacations and travels to film festivals and various symposia, she introduces herself as a San Francisco filmmaker poet. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll slap you silly, you cow. Oh, no, no, no. Beto Edwards is a fucking jerk off. She just received her third grant in new media, and with a documentary on domestic violence almost finished, she's having serious talks with people she met at the Sundance Film Festival about the feature screenplay she'd really like to write. Fuck you. Her parents are very supportive, which allows her to concentrate on her creative work and also to repeatedly bail out her newish Jeep Wrangler convertible from the towing yard it keeps ending up in. She finds towing zones very convenient for parking since they're almost always available. Fuck, fuck you. I'll kick the shit out of you. Despite living in an apartment with wooden floors, no carpets, and neighbors below, she clumps around in the equivalent of combat boots and blares dance music at all hours while she smokes cigarettes and consumes stimulants to keep her figure trim, her creative juices flowing, and her menstruation light. Fuck you. Hey, knock off that goddamn clomping. Hey, Billy. Hey, my mom told me you found a cool loophole and you're making yourself another bundle. Yeah, about 10 years ago, San Francisco's Board of Supervisors passed an ordinance to help artists build affordable living accommodations into their studios by allowing them to build below existing codes. Plus, it exempted them from ordinances that mandated the inclusion of low-cost housing into any new housing development, the provision of off-street parking for new housing, and the payment of school taxes. And you figured out how to use that. Well, I'll tell you. We had our lawyers look at this ordinance. They were salivating. We realized that this same ordinance would allow us to build condos below code, that is to say, very cheaply. Add to that the savings we realized by not having to build in parking or cheap units for the poor people. And we were in heaven. We realized that all we had to do to make this perfectly legal was to get our buyers to sign certificates claiming that they were artists. This was genius. Wow, and that's working, huh? We've got turkeys and SUVs lined up around the block just to get on the waiting list to buy boxes for half a mil and up. Billy, that's sweet. Not having to kick in toward public schools bucks them up considerably. I'll tell you what, this is the American dream come true, baby. supposed to create under these fucking conditions and like everyone everywhere I look I see more and more four-wheel drive sports utility vehicles and I ask the drivers of these behemoths what is it you really like about this piece of shit you're driving is it the sly pleasure of making an end run around the environmental protection agency's limits on fuel consumption and toxic emissions 
Is it the fact that people who are driving behind you can't see in front of you, or that your insanely high lights blind the person in front of you, or that if you wanted you could rip the shit out of some tranquil piece of forest? I reckon the answer is all of the above. Plus the pleasure of knowing that you are one of the last true American rugged individualists. You have that strength. Which way to Florida Street, dude? Florida? That way. Some party, huh, Tom? Yeah, pretty wild, huh? What is that, springtime fresh? No, that's, that's Salem, I think. Uh, Newport's it's like come alive with pleasure. Oh yeah, come alive with pleasure. Sure you say, just another case of a loser's sour grapes. Frank, you see it? Not yet. If I had any balls or gumption, I'd be acquiring wealth and using it to exploit others instead of shedding these tears of impotent rage. I'd be driving one of those pigs with a bottle of spring water in one hand and a cell phone in the other. I'd be swerving from lane to lane with no thought for the vestigial turn indicator on my steering column, blowing through red lights with total disdain for these old-timey constraints on my pursuit of happiness. In short, you say, if I had any balls or gumption, Instead of trying you with this unseemly Old Testament prophet imitation, I'd have long ago gotten with it. And for now, you say, go die, you laughable old creep. Burger, fries, and a Coke. Burger, fries, and a Coke. And a Coke. Burger, fries, and a Got Coke. It. Don't bother me. I'm eating. A Coke. Oh, uh, burger, you can get me other fries, and a Coke. Don't bother me. Don't bother me. I'm burger, fries, and a Coke. Coke. Don't bother me. Coke. Platinum to live with this demanding chemistry. You have that strength. I'm not a violent person, but there is definitely something about the way that young man says burger, fries, and a Coke that makes me want to hit him in the head with a baseball bat. <laughs>